Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. I'm really excited to be sharing with you one of my favorite add-ons that Western Computer has developed, the Container Import product. So for today's agenda, we're going to go ahead and put that container in transit and show how you can see visibly where the inventory resides on water at that point posting all transport order and what that's going to do. It's going to put your product in transit. It'll change the status of the order to in transit. And we will then show you the purchase orders, how they've been received, the transfer order that gets created, and we'll review the item ledger entries that get created from that. So let's go ahead and go to the container. So we're on this container and right now the status of this container is planning. Once I'm ready and I get notification that this is now ready to be shipped or has been shipped, I'll go ahead and plug in my container number that I've been given and also the date that it's been shipped. Since I, the order date is set for today, I'm going to go ahead and identify that this was shipped on 725. Once I put those two pieces of information in, I can now release this, the transport order, which once I do that, it changes the status to released. And now I'm ready to post this. So let me go ahead and post, and you will see a variety of things happen at this point. The status of the transport order now changes to in transit. You will now see that there is a purchase receipt that's been created, and this is per line. So if I click on different lines, you'll see the quantities change as well as the information change in terms of the document number here. It also created a transfer order, which we'll take a look at. And it posted the shipment of that transfer, so we can navigate also to that as well from here. So let's go ahead and start from the top and let's take a look at the first purchase order and open that up from here. So we'll see a couple changes here. The purchase order has been received, and so all you will notice here that the quantity received shows that these quantities have been received. The line that was not associated to that transport order is left open. And you will see that transfer container number that I added, added to the PO itself. Next, we'll see the transfer document. So this creates a transfer so that now you can monitor the inventory. It's now sitting on the water. It's been received into the France location, taken out of the France location and moved into water via the transfer order. And it's waiting for receiving into the West location once you get the inventory to the final destination. So it's being prepped here to be received. If I go back and take a look at my first item and I can navigate to the item back on the transport order from here, I want to take a look at the ledger entries that were created. So let's go ahead and go to the ledger entries. I'll be able to see the information that I just described. So you can see that the purchase receipt was done, which is the receiving off of the PO into the France location. It temporarily puts it into this location. It then moves it out of the France location and now puts it into the on water location via the transfer order itself. And you can see that there is no cost associated to the receipt of the purchase order itself. However, we do have costs associated to the transfer. This is all standard Business Central where it pulls costs based on the layers that exist and what's on the purchase order. Based on the actual invoicing and the actual amount that gets invoiced and the adjustments that can be made running the various functions within Business Central, the costs will get adjusted accordingly once you have the actuals in place. 